Dillon well. Now today I've got the Vibe here obviously and the good people of Yetta Motors once again sent me a good product. This time they're sending me some fog lights for the Vibe for the Toyota Matrix. And this car is really in need of it because that lens is over there, it's shot. This one's not much better. Really is time for an upgrade. A while back I did look for them and they were, well, few and far between, but Uta Motors sent me them. These are also Auto Saver 88s. There'll be a link down below with the discount code. If you're interested in them, drop it down below in the description box. Check them out. Now what I'm going to do, go ahead and do, is show you what kind of fog lights this car has on it. And these are probably factory originals. I can guarantee you that. I'm going to unbox the new ones install the new ones then I'll show you how well the new ones work so let's get to it now I'll turn the fogs on okay made a little difference but I do only have one fog light on this car but you can kind of get an idea of how much this does. All right, so there was, only have one fog light working on this car, but it's all right. Now I'm gonna unbox it, then we'll do the light install. So it looks like we got plenty of wiring, even a switch with plug-in harness. And the fog lights, even with looks like aluminum housing. So, so there it is, unboxed. They look good, the lenses look great, look nice and clear. Should be an advantage, should make fog lights work better than What's in there should be a good replacement. Now the wiring harness I won't need because this already has fog lights. Should fit in stock location, no modifications. And just plug straight into the existing wiring harness. Now the fog lights are in the bumper. I can do is crawl up underneath and remove the old ones. All right, so in the bumper, there it is. Now the easiest thing to do here is to remove this screw, this screw, to pull back the splash a little bit and out of your way so we can get to removing the fog light assembly, which won't be difficult. There's a little tab back here to push that's just right below the harness connecting to the light there, and we'll have to loosen that tab right there so we can push it out. All right, by just removing those two, you can get plenty of access to what we need to do down here okay so if you can see there's two little tabs here you can push that in then we can come up here on the harness go ahead and unplug it okay so I'll take a little just a little flathead here and carefully you're gonna push this out see if I can do this because you want to catch it on the other side Now you can see it real good right here. You can see the tab, how it just pops in. How that piece right there for the adjuster pop in that hole. And you got this other one that you can just kind of push a little bit and it'll come out. Now also, you can see the adjuster there. And you see there's a Phillips head screw there so you can adjust it 
as needed after it's installed. Now there is a left and right, and when installing, you can try to get your little get that straight on. Where it should go in a lot easier. So I'm just gonna slide it from the front. And I'm probably gonna have to fidget with it just a little bit from the feels of it until I get it in place. Right now I should be able to get it pop in where that's there. Little tab sticking out like there for the adjuster. And then go ahead plug it in. Now what I'm going to do is reinstall these two bolts holding the splash in and I'll do the other side real quick. Alright and here's a little bit better shot of factory original off the driver's side that's not busted and the new one. New. What can you say? Looks a lot better. And the supply bulb is just a 9006 bulb, so you can upgrade an LED if you want. Alright, so it's not really a fair comparison, but you know what? It'll work because there we go. Even though both sides are working still for now. This side right here, it's pretty obvious with the new lenses, it makes it look a lot better. Very nice. Alright, there it is. Installing everything is done. Pretty simple, basic. Not difficult at all. Extremely easy to do. They fit in just like the originals. Plug and play. No issues out of them. They look extremely good in the bumper. Way better than the originals because they were just all worn out. Nice clear lens. Glass lens. Nice aluminum housing should last quite a while and they gave the light a lot clearer lens to project through and it just looked better on the ground when the light hit it so that's a win-win to me those are extremely good I like them and they're just an easy to install thing so if you need some fog lights it's probably the ones to go to. Make sure you check that link below, use the code, and get your fog lights if you need them. I hope you enjoyed this episode. As always, thanks for watching. <laughs>